December research farm update. Um, so we'll just carry on from the last video. Tomas will have spoke to you about the low emissions building and the current batch that are in there. So this batch are actually being sold in the coming week and we're going to have the building then cleaned and ready to be restocked the week leading up to Christmas. So we're learning a lot from these pigs, how they're navigating the building and we're hoping to learn a lot more from the next batch and be able to tell you about it in the new year. So Tomas would have also spoke to you in the last video about the farming room and a look towards 2024 and beyond of how we might be changing some things up, looking at alternative production systems like co-mingling. So in line with this, I'm going to briefly talk to you about another change that we will have in the, that we're currently implementing in the unit. So we are in the process of changing our herd management system to a new system. This new system will be predominantly moving away from paper and pain, uh, recording and more onto tablet and smartphone data recording. So for us here, yes we have the regular pig production but we also have a lot of research um, and experiments that run on top of that in the unit and trying to find a management system that can incorporate both is what we're looking at. So this new system will have a number of advantages for us in that unique position. Um, one of which would be, we can see it helping us with time saving. So currently, if we take for example weighing, our students will come into the unit, weigh their trial pigs, um, correlate the correct tag number to those weights, go back out to the office, input this into Excel and then be able to analyse that data. Um, with the new system, every piglet will have an electronic ear tag at birth and anything that happens at pig as they move through the unit will be able to be recorded to that tag and in real time uploaded onto the data management system. So there will be no um, extra inputting of data into Excel, it will be there once the task is done ready to be analysed. So we can see this having huge time saving benefits at all the different tasks that the students might have to do in the unit and it can also remove an element of human error from um, the recording side of the data. Um, another benefit that we would see with this new management system is having all our data in the one place. So as I've said there, we have a lot of licensed trials that happen in the unit and in line with this we have different regulatory bodies that would require um, various different paperwork from us, such as the HPRA. So with this data management system, everything related to the pig will be in one area and be more streamlined to be able to gather that information. So at any point, a researcher or a student or myself would be able to walk into any of the rooms inside, go to a specific pin, scan the tag of that pig and see their lifetime performance. So you'd see what sow they came from, see their birth weight, any weights that have been taken since, if the pig had received any medication, if they are on a licensed trial and what measurements were associated with that trial. Um, so it should make things more streamlined and very efficient for us here in the unit. So as I said, we're in the process of trialing a few different systems at the moment. We're trying to find the one that fits our unit specifically better. Um, and our hope would be to pick that system in the next few weeks and have it fully integrated into the unit by early 2024. So that's it. Um, it's a quick uh, roundup for you. We will be back in the new year and we'll be able to go give you a review of all the data from 2023 um, and some new information for you. Thanks.